has failed me for the last time. And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And there's a bunch of new stuff out in the game right now, including this raid boss update for the tank takedown. They made the normal mode much easier. But before we talk about this, this is very important. There's a special event going on right now. It is called the Rogue One Celebration Pack for the Bistin U-Wing plus Bistin for 50 ally points. It is completely hidden. It's going for the next 15 days. Unless you click data cards and go up here and hit this for 50 ally points, you're going to be missing it. There's no notification. There's no dot. I remember doing it the first day that it came through, but unless I went up here and looked, I wouldn't have gotten this rewards right here, which... I need desperately. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so be sure to do that. And then also in your notifications, there are two new things. It says, celebrate the release of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Cantina Battles will have double drops from now until Tuesday, December 20th. Battle now, very cool. And then the tank takedown, raid rebalance. The normal mode has been modified to make it much easier. And now Jedis will get an increased 20% critical strike chance in the raid. So they're going to make it easy. Now we've gone to heroic, so that doesn't really affect me. But I'll take the Jedi buff anyways. And look at all these really cool rewards. I'm going to hit claim on those right now. And I'm just curious if that's going to allow me to move anybody up. Boy, look at all those little pluses up there. All right, I'll have to go back later and find out which one I want to use that on. I want to be specific. Probably we'll do a Jawa of some kind. We'll go back and look. All right, we got to go look at the notes because there's a ton of stuff in here that is not in the notes. And I just want to rant for a second about something, about the Zeta abilities. Basically, there's two ways of getting Zetas, and the Zetas are very important because the really cool abilities get unlocked with Zetas. And the main way to get that is here in Fleet Shipments. Buying them here for 2000 which is the expensive hard way. And the other way is in these ship challenges right here, where when you get into tier, which requires eight five-star ships, including a five-star Exotrusix. But the problem with that is that requires dark side ships. And there really is no farmable way of getting dark side ships. Genos and Shoulder is easy. The two TIE Fighters and Genos and Spy. And then you're left with Sunfac, TIE Advanced, Scimitar, and Slave 1, none of those are farmable. Meaning like Sunfac is not a character that you can farm anywhere. And then the TIE Advanced is only in a tournament. It's not available yet. And then Scimitar and Slave 1, I mean, they just come up sporadically inside of fleet shipments, but they don't come up all the time. And I was like kind of getting pissy about this because I don't have a way of getting them very quickly. But we're going to show you in a different way. There is a couple posts that I didn't see before. And the main one that I wanted to look at that made me the most exciting is that there's this listing of event information. Double drops, yes. Heroes of the Rebellion but for Jin. Then it's going to be for Cassian Ondor. Then there's going to be a squad tournament for Ewing. Emperor Demise, everybody knows about that, coming on the 23rd. Then this is what I was like, yay. The TIE Advanced Darth Vader ship is coming back on the 1st and 2nd of January. Jawas, this was an event that we had a long time ago that requires droids to get tons of Jawas shards, which is very useful in the raid, although I've got all my Jawas at 7 stars. And then there's going to be some Omega battles and military might is also coming i'm excited about this so i can get more empire shards all right let's look at the official notes and then we'll look at the new hero that has been posted on swgoh.gg emperor's demise is coming back on december 23rd i know a lot of people are excited about that rebels 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 new unit Cassian Andor, and we're going to go over his abilities here at the end of the video. There's going to be a tournament and Omega Battles and Double Drops in Cantina. We've already gone all over this, but this is something that may have been overlooked is that there is basically a buff for Finn and Poe. Finn now deals more bonus damage with Crack Shot and has increased chances to expose and stun his enemies with Takedown. Hold the Line now grants increased healing and shares that healing with Poe. So they're like, <laughs> I don't know. There's a whole bunch of memes about Poe and Finn. <laughs> Additionally, Mega Upgrade for this ability now gives Finn's ability to spell all debuffs from allies. 
And wow, really cool. And Balanced Tactics has been reworked to grant more offense and much more defense. This ability will also gain a brand new Zeta upgrade, giving resistant allies more synergies with Foresight and Exposed. So Finn and Poe got a buff. The Tank Takedown Raid was rebalanced. We'll just read that real quick. Tank Takedown Raid has been rebalanced for normal difficulty. All phases of the battle have had the damage, boss health, minion health, and speed reduced. In addition to this, Jedis will have their critical strike chance increased by 20% during all phases of the raid. We hope this makes for a better experience when participating in the Tank Takedown Raid. And then we got all that free shards, which I just collected a moment ago. Guild shipment update. I'm really looking forward to this because there was some scarcity. We've added more characters for level 60 and above. We've included tank takedown raid exclusive gear for level 80 and above. There's been a change to the quantity option of ranker raid exclusive gear for level 16 and above. Very cool. More things I can buy in the guild store. And then there was some bug fixes. Let's go over the new hero. Kessian Andor, Rebel Support, who buffs allies at the start of battle and debuffs enemies during the battle. Deal physical damage to target me with 85% chance to inflict buff immunity for two turns. Inflict ability block, defense down, healing muting, offense down, and speed down on random enemies for two turns. If the priority target is Empire, expose them for two turns. And then if K2SO is present, he called in to assist. Boy, all you Android people got the K2SO are so lucky. I am on iOS, so I'm going to cry. Boo-hoo. Actually, I'm not going to whine about it. I'm not thrilled with that, but I guess... I don't know. Crippling Shot. Deals special damage to target enemy for each debuff present on other enemies. Inflict the damage on the target for one turn. And then Groundwork. At the start of each encounter, all Rebel allies gain protection up. 20%. I like this a lot. For three turns, all Rebel attackers gain defense up for three turns. All Rebel supporters gain potency up for three turns and all rebel tanks gain tenacity up for three turns if k2so is present he gains all of these buffs very cool well my main thing is i want to start getting the zeta abilities because they are important and i definitely want to be able to unlock this part here in the ship challenges this last piece right here where all the good rewards are that is my main thing so i guess i'm gonna have to wait to the first of the year i probably will skip all the squad tournaments and just go hard on that one there because i definitely need to get this unlocked right here just so that i can go into this and you know as long as i'm able to get there someday is fine i just kind of had an issue that if i can't farm and get it you know i'm okay with whales being able to get it there faster but not being able to get there at all is not cool at all all right, let's go do a Fleet Arena battle just to wrap up this video because I'm having tons of fun. I normally place number two. I really like ships. I like the way it plays. I've enjoyed it a lot. The main thing for me is to have bigs get taunt quickly and then I target their bigs first, especially if they're using Akbar because his taunt is gonna come no matter what. Right here, it's gonna get triggered because target lock right here. Oh, he dodged, so I didn't get the target lock. Oh, that's not good. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just do that right there. Normally, what would happen is my bigs would be taunted, and then I would do the attack, and then he would get a heal, but that didn't happen. I'm going to take out their dig bigs because he's likely to get the taunt here at some point. All right. Very easy so far. Not a problem. All right. Um, well, I guess... See, normally, oh, this kind of throws off my strategy a little bit, not having bigs with the taunt. So I guess I'll just do it like that. All right, well, that's not good. See, now he's got the protection up, so I need to target somebody else. Um, let's just go after Wedge. You know, when the protection buffs are up there, it, don't attack them. I mean, it's just the damage is not going to be really going through. Plus, my Ahsoka will come through, and I might as well be doing it then. So I pretty much ignore the the ships that have protection up. It just seems like wasted damage. All right, now this will be good right here. And a couple of my guys will assist, and they'll get protection up as well. Let's see if I can get more. Yep, two of them attacked. All right, very cool. Uh, so far, this taunt me mechanic hasn't gone off, which normally both of the bigs have taunt. All right, got a reinforcement. Now my bigs is taunted. There we go. Took a, took a while. 
That's all right. Let's get rid of five ship. Almost dead. Go away. There you go. And now we'll go after, oh, it's a clone sergeant. Yeah, let's do clone sergeant. And, um, okay, we're just gonna do a basic attack. I haven't lost any of my units. I use Ahsoka as my reinforcement and she usually cleans up all the protection ones because she debuffs them. All right, let's see. Biggs is taking a beating there. Okay, so let's uh, just finish off this ship back here and then we'll go to, to Biggs. I'm surprised he hasn't taunted yet. All right, now we'll go after Biggs. Yeah, why not? Uh-oh. I'm going to have a couple of my ships go down. All right, let's um, put that on Biggs just in case something happens there. He seems to taunt more often than not. I try to put all the healing on him, typically. Especially with the, the Jedi Consular. All right, so he's got protection, so we're gonna go after, I believe that's Ahsoka ship. Boy, oh, it's my first loss. Two go down in one round right now. That's not good. All right, well, that's okay. Let's see if we can get target lock. Thank you, which gives taunt. All right, let's bring in Ahsoka. And she gets her middle ability back whenever the opponent reinforces, so I don't have a problem using it right from the beginning. There comes the reinforcement, so she'll get that detaunt, debuff ability in there. Okay, very cool, so I'll just put that over there. Oh, that's wasted damage with all that extra protection up. All right, that'll, that'll get rid of all of it right there. Very cool. Boy, that just knocks down the health almost instantly. All right, I've got four ships. Why don't we just do this? This is the ultimate for Akbar. Everybody's gonna get like tactical genius, but for ships, and that'll be good. Both of us are doing that at the same time. Let's see. Um, 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 um let's do that, and then we'll do an assist immediately afterwards. Boy, that's overkill. Do I want to do that? Ah, uh, let's put that over here. The assist attack. Okay, we've got this. This is done. Very cool. Going to see Rogue One here in a couple hours. I am very excited. I'll probably make a video about it, but I know I'm going to love it no matter what. Thank you guys so much for liking the video, supporting the channel, and as always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.